Hey, what's going on everyone? Naka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. And today, as you guys can tell, I'm bringing you something totally different than anything I've ever brought you before. I mean, I guess it's pretty similar in the fact that it's still Call of Duty trickshotting, but we have never played Ghost on this channel before. And this is actually the client version of Ghost as well, which is IW6X. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, I'm mainly an MW2 IW4X player. I've uploaded like a little BO2 Pluto and MW3 IW5 Pluto here and there, but IW4X is my main game. And don't get me wrong, my content isn't going to be changing up at all. I'm still going to be bringing you guys a bunch of IW4X content, but I know there are some of you guys out there that might be getting bored of the IW4X stream highlights every single day, so I decided to switch it up and bring some other cards into the mix. You can never go wrong with a little bit of variety, which explains like the recent BO2 uploads and now my first ever Ghost video. Now, I would have made a video on this client sooner, but it's kind of dead, not gonna lie. But actions speak louder than words, so here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, first things first, we're gonna check out my character. Look at that, straight drip. We got the bling in the background, we're 10th prestige, we got the dope little title and emblem, and we got Captain Price, best of all. I didn't really know it's a thing either, but apparently he's supposed to use Captain Price on Ghosts, like his hands for the character model. Apparently they look better in shots or something and people tell you to use them. I didn't know that, but I'm using them just because. But anyways, like I said before, we're gonna be hopping and shaking FFA trick shot. You can see there's 0 to 18 people in it right now. The whole client's pretty dead. There's probably like 7 plus 6 plus 1. That's 14, because 7 plus 7. Yeah, so literally 14 people on the whole game right now. You can't even fill one full game with all of them. But anyway, I'm gonna hop in the shaking FFA trick shot. It's gonna be just me and a bunch of bots. We did get Stonehaven for the first map, which is normally a pretty bad map. Like, people hate on a ghost for it. Like, this is probably the most hated map in the whole game. But it's actually a great map for trick shotting, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I joined late, so I'm already giving fast last. I probably won't even have any time to go for attempts or anything, because there's only 25 seconds left. I'm praying this next map is good, boys. Fingers crossed. Bug flew in mouth. What is this formula? Oh, let's go. We got freight. This is actually a pretty good map. I can actually work with this one. Let me get my tack up top. If you guys don't know, you can actually use tack and service on ghost. If you put like, I don't know what the grenade is called in your tactical. I think it's called like a thermo barrack. But if you go on IW6X and you put that as your uh, tactical equipment on the shaken FFA service, you'll actually be able to put down attack insert, which is modded because normally you can only use them in infected in this game. Like you can't put them on your class, but you know, they had to mod it up real quick for the trick shot client of the game, or I should say the trick shotting uh, server on the client of the game. All right, getting the last real quick. And I hit the little four piece. Of course not because I missed, but a uh, little two piece backdrop. Oh, and I fucked that one up too. Nice. All right, I want to go for those dudes back there. I'm going to go for a little backdrop. So I'm going to go for like... Oh, that could be dope. I know it's crazy. I don't even think I have the Captain Price hands on. No, I'm not even using Captain Price like I thought I was. I guess I need to make him my private match character for it to work. Because in this game, to make your classes, you actually have to make him in private match, not like online. All right, that guy's still my target. Nice. Oh, wait, I forgot to do bind, D-pad down, die. So every time I just want to die... Quick D-pad down, and there we go. I do that just in case I don't sue you or anything. Yo, there's a lot of them over there. Do I go for the little wall bang? Oh my god, I messed up and I almost hit that, dude. Can I get on this little thing? Of course I can. Come on, what type of question is that? That could be cool if I didn't fuck up. But yeah, as you guys can see, this game is, um... Oh, I saw spotted again, but it is pretty dead. I got 17 bots in here and just me. No other trick shot is in the cut. And it's basically like this every single day. Well, actually, I'm not in here every single day. Definitely not. This is actually like my first time ever really playing the game. But from what I've heard. But yeah, the main reason I never really play this game, because I actually really do like ghost trick shotting, is there's no S&D servers, or SNR or anything. It's all FFA trick shotting. And I mean, don't get me wrong, FFA is, I, like, I do like playing it occasionally, but there's nothing like an SNR server, especially because this is a game that actually introduced SNR, like with dog tags and everything. Oh my god, that'd be so dirty. Oh my god, they're all right there. Do you guys see that minimap? Oh, I had to go for that. That would have been dirty jumping into the building again like that. Oh my god, they're all down there, but they're all killing each other, which sucks about this game. The bots actually peel each other. I don't know if you guys ever like played ghost bots back in the day just in private match, but they are good. Like the recruit bots are like hardened bots in other cards, not gonna lie. Oh come on, don't kill me. Oh wait, they can't kill me, I'm at last. Which is a pretty cool feature about this, I suppose. Oh my god, look, L7 Helen renamed to Doggo28. I think that's actually a real human player. Imagine I hit on him. Hold on, let me get this gun glitch. Oh my god, that'd be dirty. I'm actually gonna go back to the class I had though. Well, no shot that game, but let's see what map we got next. OGK sees to end it. No, sir. I'm praying to something good. Once again, fingers crossed. Come on. Let me get something like freight. Octane. Ah, it's I, It's not great, but hey, maybe I can hit something on it. Wait, is there another random in here? Do you guys see that? Summy God? I think that's actually another random in the game. Look. One, the bots haven't connected yet. 
Oh wait, there's another random, Doggo28. It's literally just me and two randoms right now. The bots haven't even... No way, this is like a real free-for-all. Where are the bots at? This is crazy, what the? This is definitely glitch, not gonna lie. It's supposed to be full of... Did he just disappear? He, he did. Uh, okay, I guess me and Doggo28 are 1v1-ing. Ooh, get dropped. He didn't want it. Oh, does this dude want it? Hey, that guy joined back. No way. I'm actually gonna hit a shot on legit randoms here, boys. I'm not even kidding. Look, we got two of them in the game. These dudes are not trick shotters at all, as far as I can tell from the name. Oh, you guys can't see the scoreboard right now. Hold on, let me turn off my face cam just real quick. Look at that, boys. Two randoms, no bots. Oh my god, a third random? What is going on? Damn it, now a random connected because Doggo left, but we swapped him out with another random, so. All right, let's get back into the game. I only need to kill one more. And then I'm at last. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got the Snoop Dogg voice back too, which came from Ghost if you guys don't know. If you guys don't know, I actually just dropped a way to use the Snoop Dogg voice back from this game on IW4X. I'll make sure to link that tutorial and the download to that in the description below. If I don't forget, I don't think I will though. Alright, let's see. Can I hit the unset up build cam? Oh, that would have been a little close. Hold on. Wait, look at them. They don't know why they can't kill each other. I said, it's a trick shot lobby. It has to be a no skill blast. He said, what the fuck? Oh, he said, I'm dumb. Yeah, dude did not expect that one. Well, maybe I'll sit on this one bot. Is he setting up for me? Oh, never mind. He's going for a trick shot. No way. We got the random trick shotting. What is he going to go for? Nice. He 180'd. That's crazy because this literally does not prove my example good at all. I was trying to say how dead the game was, and now, like, a bunch of randoms just connect out of nowhere. <gasps> Yo, that could have hit. There's two bots up there now, too, or two people. You know what? I'm going to go for the little titty knack on him. If I hit a knack on a random, that'd be insane. Ooh, that'd be it. I actually need to get the trophy system a little bit more, but besides that, that looked pretty fire. All right, let me hit a knack on this random. Yo, that was on. And he's gone. Unfortunate. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Now, time to hit a shot on a bot. I guess I'll go for the same knack I was going for. Oh, that'd be dirty if I hit to like that dude. Oh wait, he's right there. I need to see him. Well, yeah, this is a lot more like what IW6X is normally like. Basically all bots and then just one trick shotter in the game. Which basically that was like how it was right there. There was only one trick shotter in the game, but the randoms came flooding in. Stay down there. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I have a titty not coming your way. Oh my god, as a backdrop, that would have been dirty. While he was up there too, my guy's literally camping. Camping, waiting for the bill cam. All right, little Adelia, before the shot. Come on, just let it hit. Is he still camping up there? Oh my god, he's getting slapped if I can do it again. TikTok, nephew, time's almost up. I'm trying here, Uncle Snoop. Oh, now you got me failing that, Snoop. You're rushing me. Well, pretty good game of Octane, not gonna lie. I'm actually really surprised that we had randoms in there for a little bit. Well, let's see what map we got next, because I'm not done talking, actually, about IW6X. No way, we got Ignition, the Scrapyard remake. Unfortunately, you can't ladder stall, but besides that, you actually can backdrop it, so... I'd say this is a pretty fire remake of Scrapyard, not gonna lie. They kind of did it justice. Oh yeah, I forgot that the truck is actually not here until you initiate, like, the rocket launch. I think that's back here somewhere, right? Yeah, you have to initiate a rocket test. And then this rocket, like, goes off in the air. Yeah, watch. Oh, wait, is it back there? Or where is it? Hold on. Oh, countdown 30 seconds. Wait, how does headshot someone? Is the rocket cooking them or something? I'm so confused. What is going on? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, yeah, the rocket back there. All right, look what sent. Wow, I can't talk, but look what ends up happening here, boys. The rocket goes off that I just tested. And let's just say, test doesn't go so good. Explodes and... Boom, and there's the rest of Scrapyard. It's actually kind of cool how they did that. I like the interactive map uh, version of Scrapyard on this game. I right, know, this is what I was talking about before. Yeah, look at this rail. They literally blocked the ladder stall off, so you can't go for it, unfortunately. But I can put my tack up here, and I can jump off this part, which you can't normally do in, like, MW2. There's a railing right here blocking you. So, pretty cool that you can backdrop, like, the whole map. I'm gonna go for a little action. Ooh, that actually could have hit. No way. I'm gonna go for it as a backdrop this time, though. Yo, imagine backdropping that. I'd freak out. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull off that knack, but I will go for this little shot instead. Wait, how do you do the gun glitch with this class again? You C4 and YY, right? Okay, there we go. I got it. C4, YY, gun glitch. 
Oh, I need to make that look nicer, but that is a cool little combo you can do in this game. But yeah, this is basically what IW6X is always like, just all bots and one person trick shotting. I know I said that a bunch now, but hey, it's true. However, I do think this game is actually going to be revived a little bit when um, Sean ends up adding the Shaking Gun Game service to it. Now, I don't mean to spill the beans. It's not my uh, surprise to spoil, but I think he already mentioned it in a video or whatever, so I should be good. But if you guys don't know, wait, can I get the snack? There we go. Oh, fuck. I messed up the landing, but that could have been cool. But yeah, I'm sure you guys know Sean already has like the Shaken Gun Game service on IW4X and now BO2 Pluto. They just recently got ported over. Once again, didn't hit that game, but let's see what we get for the next game. And I'll finish explaining what I was trying to say before. Once and for all, come on, please be a good map. I'm begging here. <gasps> the best map I could have asked for, Stormfront. No way. Let's get it. Dude, I got a hit on this map. I was playing it a little bit earlier tonight with my guy Mayo Nason. I'm sure you guys might have heard me mention him in a video or two before. I did make that video trolling him pretending to be Sean, but anyways. I was going for the nastiest shot on this map earlier though, and now I'm just fiending to hit something. If I can ever even- there we go. If I can get the knack like I was gonna say. There's so many of them over there, come on. Oh, can I jump off though? I don't want to land up there. Please. I think I need to jump out of the front. I'm pretty sure that's the move, and that's how people always used to do it. Oh, I can get the young can because this dude just dropped it on me real quick. But yeah, here goes nothing. Oh my god. Dude, that shot would have been nasty. I got the can swap, the titty knack, and the um mantle on the side there. Or like the lean. And now I'm over here trick shotting from an even better spot. Let's get it. Oh, let me hit this backdrop. I've always wanted to hit that. Oh wait, they're down there. Oh, I don't know why I threw in the fakey, but that still would have been dirty. But anyways, like I was saying on that ignition game, I'm actually hyped for Sean to add shaking gun game to this game. Because I think it's going to revive it. Like, imagine going for shots on other trick shots instead of going from like, there, there, there. I don't know, just all around the map, even there. Not only that, but having a random class every time. Because like, right now I'm failing on Nax. I'm actually thinking about changing my class. But I wouldn't need to if we were playing shaking gun game. I would just respawn and I'd have a whole nother class to trick shot with. Well, I guess I should explain what Shaking Gun Game is because I didn't really get to do that before. But it's literally just like a version of Gun Game, like the title says. But the reason it's shaken is because it was made by Sean, so it's a trick shotting server. So basically, you just play out the game like a normal free for all, but then once you get to last, it gives you a random trick shotting class, like I said, and you can just go for random trick shots on other random trick shotters. Not gonna lie, trick shotting can get boring when you're just like instantly last and you don't really have any objective to go for or anything. So it's kind of nice that Sean added these servers to kind of help spice up trick shotting before Vanguard, because around this time of the year, it always kind of dies down a little bit. Oh, that'd be so clean looking. Imagine if I hit that all the way to over there. I think those people too. Oh yeah, all the way down there. Please, I'm begging. So yeah, huge shout out to Sean and Matrix for making those servers and kind of helping revive trick shotting, especially on dead clients. Like when they add it to Ghosts, I bet this lobby is going to be full 18 out of 18 trick shot. There's no doubt about it. Even though I'm the only one in here right now on normal FFA. The only difference is it's just new and it makes people want to play the game again. Dude, come on, let me hit that as a buzzer beater. Oh, fuck, I forgot to get a chem strike this whole time and go for, like, chem buzzer beaters. Oh, two back-to-back knacks. -back I think I'm going crazy right now. Oh, I failed the third. Third back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back try. Third time is not the charm. All right, what map do we got next? Come on, bless me here. Ooh, Sovereign. This one is not the best map, but I personally like it because, I don't know, I just like the spots you can go for on it. And the thing in the middle that moves, you can go for a shot off that. So fuck it, I'll play it. This is the moving thing I'm talking about here. Let me get up top real quick after I get to last, and I'll hop on that and show you guys what's up with it. Keep in mind, for this video, I'm doing in-the-map trick shotting only, but I do want to do an out-of-the-map trick shotting video on IW6X as well, because it is pretty damn easy to get out of the map, especially in free-for-all, and you can hit some crazy shots doing it. I actually already have one, but I don't want to spoil that or anything. Oh, there we go. I'm at last. All right, let me put my tack right here real quick, and let me see. Oh, I can jump right on it. Perfect diamond. All right. So let me go for the... Oh, I wish I got the knack, but basically that's the shot. You just, like, wall bang either side of it off of that thing or shoot uh, basically anywhere on the map. Probably the coolest trick shotting spot on this map, not gonna lie. I mean, this map has a few cool ones, but none as cool as that. But yeah, besides that on this map, there's like a few decent trick shotting spots, like all these little tables and railings and stuff. They're literally all over the map. There's one over there too. Wait, little knack. Ooh, first try. That actually should have hit. Oh my God. Oh, over the back like that. Come on. The Alto sign. Shout out my boy Alto's OGK. Oh, wait. What are we thinking about this, though? The little gun glitch with the climb. Oh, I need to shoot there. But with the knife cancel and the trophy. I gun glitch with the knife. 
Oh, if I can hit that to all the way down there, not that close guy, that would be heat. But basically, boys, as far as in the map goes, I think I've done everything I can really do in this game for this video. So I'm going to show you a shot that I actually already ended up hitting. I mean, unless I hit this game, then of course I'll show you whatever I hit this game. But besides that, like I said, I was already playing with my boy Mayo Nason earlier tonight. And I actually ended up smacking my first ever shot on Ghost IW6X, like probably my third game ever trying it. And it was a Prison Break series as well. If you're a Ghost player, you already know what I'm talking about. But yeah, basically the one at the waterfall, you can normally do a lot of spins on it but i actually hit a dude who was like i don't even know where he was actually he was somewhere in the map not really sure where but he wasn't setting up or anything so i didn't do like a 2160 i just kind of did like a 1080 but regardless of all that it was actually still a pretty sick shot so i'm gonna show you guys that now unless i hit a shot this game but before I do, I gotta warn you guys, the reason you guys aren't seeing the full video I recorded with Mayo Nason was basically because I had to scrap all the footage. I don't know if you guys remember when I first started playing Pluto and I had what I called Pluto Mike. But what Pluto Mike is, or I guess now it's called 6X Mike, is basically when you play a client for the first time, your mic volume in game is like all the way up on 100. And basically it makes like your actual recording fucked up too because it picks up like your voice chat from in game and it's awful. So I'm not gonna lie, you guys are probably gonna get a laugh out of the reaction because it's absolute air rape. Like the gain on my mic is way too loud. You guys are probably, like I said, gonna get a laugh out of it. But it's a decent little shot for my first one on IW6X. And considering it was my first one, I definitely didn't want the footage to go to waste. Like I didn't wanna have to scrap it or anything like I did the rest of the footage. So here, enjoy the shot now, enough talk about it time for you guys to finally watch it in all its honor and all its glory right now I'm gonna say not a fan of how you can't tag but oh well like mid-air tag shots i don't know i just always tag before my shots i know you don't need to but oh i hit a little shot <laughs> it was i it was nothing special it was just like a little a little suey hey but it was my first on the game <laughs> it was I. I don't even know where it was to be honest. Oh, where was he? I had no no idea to be I honest. Heard it. I didn't expect to hit it. Let's go. And yeah, that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it more than you know. If you guys don't follow me over on Twitter yet, please make sure to do so. My ad name is just NECA, so it's pretty easy to find. I tweet out every time I upload, stream, need help with an upload, looking for people to play with, etc. So it's definitely the best place to stay connected with me. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like rating on it and also drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite shot or part of today's video was. If you're new to my channel and just finding it from this video, I do upload Call of Duty trick shotting videos daily. So if you're new here and you do like that type of content, please make sure to subscribe with post notifications on by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it and changing personalized to all. And by doing that, you can make sure you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I also have a second channel and a TikTok that I upload exclusive content to like rock clips that you might not see on this channel. So make sure to go check those out if that's something you're new. I'll be linking both of those in the description as well as my community discord. If you guys want to come join up that if you ever like want to get a six man and want to say what's up, definitely a good place to do so. But yeah, I think I've promoted everything I need to promote. But even if I forgot something, it'll be linked in the description anyway. So make sure to check that out for all of my possible links. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all tomorrow with another banger upload. Peace out everyone, back out.